This presentation is being made to help you better understand your natural defense against threats to your health. So, let's talk about your immune system. Your immune system is what protects you from disease. It is our first line of defense against illness and disease, and its role is to seek out invaders which attack our bodies constantly. In order to best protect us, our immune system must be able to recognize threats, respond to those threats, and then be able to remember those threats if they attack us again. We want our immune system to be intelligent, strong, and balanced. So let's walk through the way our immune system works. And since it's common, let's use the chickenpox virus as an example. Little Johnny is a happy child, but someone at the daycare center who has chickenpox sneezes. And in a few days, little Johnny begins to break out in red bumps, which change to blisters, and Johnny has chickenpox. Johnny's immune system had never seen the chickenpox virus before and didn't know what was making him feel so bad. After several days, Johnny's immune system identifies the chickenpox virus and starts producing fighters, which defeat the chickenpox virus. But for several days, Johnny was really sick with chickenpox before he became well. Once the immune system has recognized and defeated an invader, it has the ability to store the identity of the invader by creating something called a memory cell. That's the reason people who had chickenpox only had it once. A memory cell is like a wanted poster. The memory cell forever carries the identity of the chickenpox virus around your body and if the chickenpox virus ever appears again, the memory cell immediately sounds the alarm and an immediate overwhelming production of immune system fighters is produced and you don't become ill. You don't even know you've been exposed because now you have immunity. Isn't that a wonderful word, immunity? Immunity, it means you have protection. But the problem with developing immunity this way is that first you had to become ill, like little Johnny, before you became well. The second way that you develop immunity is through a vaccination. Here's the way a vaccine works, again using the chickenpox virus as an example. The chickenpox virus is weakened, so it can't reproduce and cause harm. It still has the same appearance, but it can't cause disease. A person is vaccinated with a harmless chickenpox virus. Your immune system thinks you have been attacked by the real harmful virus, and it develops fighters to defeat the supposed threat. It thinks you really had chickenpox. Your immune system develops memory cells so that later, if a harmful chickenpox virus enters your body, you have instant recognition and an overwhelming immune response, and you don't become ill, and you have developed again that wonderful word, immunity. That's the way a vaccine works. The problem is, however, that there are so many germs, viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungal organisms, and there are so few vaccines. So let's review a moment how we have developed immunity. We can develop immunity and thus protection by actually having a disease, like chickenpox, where we finally figure out the identity of the invader and store a memory cell which protects us against exposure in the future. We can also receive a vaccination, which basically tricks our immune system into responding and therefore producing those memory cells which recognize a particular threat and give us protection or immunity. And until recently, these were the only two ways that could assure you of being protected against... using Powtoon.